can we simplify this radical expression here let's see what we can do first we rationalize the denominator so to rationalize the denominator you multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator So the conjugate of the denominator is square root of 22 minus square root of 11. So this thing here becomes difference of two squares. So let's expand. This gives us square root of 11 times, times square root of 22 minus square root of 11 times square root of 11 all over square root of 22 squared minus square root of 11 squared all exponent 8 so this will be equal to square root of 11 times square root of 11 again times square root of 2 minus 11 root 2, root 11 times root 11 is 11 so we are going to get 11 here as well divided by 22 minus 11 all exponent 8 so this will be equal to 11 square root of 2 minus 11 all over 11 exponent 8 so this will simplify further to give us when we factor 11 out we'll get the square root of 2 minus 1 all divided by 11 exponent 8 so the 11 here will cancel this 11 we are left with square root of 2 minus 1 all exponent 8 so here we can apply the Pascal's triangle to expand using the coefficients of 1, 8, 28, 56, 70, 56, 28, 8, 1. But if you don't want to use the Pascal's triangle, we can still deal with that. So we have square root of 2 minus 1 exponent 8. We can rewrite this as square root of 2 minus 1 exponent 2 exponent 4. So let's deal with the inner parenthesis. So this will be equal to, so we will use the identity x minus y all squared is equal to x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. The perfect square identity, we apply that this is our x this is our y so that gives us square root of 2 squared minus 2 times square root of 2 times 1 plus 1 plus 1 squared or plus negative 1 squared yeah it's just 1 squared so um all exponents 4 so this will be equal to square root of 2 squared is 2 minus 2 square root of 2 plus 1 all exponent 4 so this simplifies to 2 plus 1 3 minus 2 square root of 2 all squared all exponent 4 so this is still equal to 3 minus 2 square root of 2 exponent 2 
exponent 2. So we still apply the perfect square identity and that will be giving us 3 squared minus 2 times 2 square root of 2 plus 2 square root of 2 squared. Then all squared again. So this will simplify to we have 9 minus 6 times 2 is 12 root 2. Then plus 2 square root of 2 square will be 4 times 2, which is 8. All squared. So 9 plus 8 will be 17. So this becomes 17 minus 12 root 2 all squared. So now we apply the first square identity again. We have 17 squared minus 2 times 17 times 12 root 2 plus 12 root 2 all squared and that will be equal to 17 squared is equal to 289 minus 2 times 17 times 12 that will give us 408 so minus 408 root 2 then plus 144 times 2 and that will give us 288 so 288 plus 289 that will give us 577 so 577 minus 408 root 2